Meanwhile, on another note. Thanks, Brian. Midterm elections just one day away, and all eyes are on these key states, especially this one, Iowa, where Republican candidate Joni Ernst leads Democrat Bruce Braley by seven points now. Mm -hmm. But now the state's sitting Democratic senator, the retiring Tom Harkin, attacking Ernst, saying she's winning because of her looks. Listen. Well, you know, I heard someone say, well, Joni Ernst, she's really attractive. Well, joining us right now from the state of Iowa is Joni Ernst. Good morning to you, Joni. Good morning. Good morning, Ainsley, Stephen, Brian. How are you? It, it's great. Uh, we know you've got a very busy final day of campaigning. Thank you for taking a little time to be with us. When you heard Tom Harkin, the sitting senator from the, the state of my birth, mm -hmm. Iowa, say that about you, you're attractive and stuff like that, what did you think? Yeah. Well, first, I was very offended that Senator Harkin would say that. Uh, I think it's unfortunate that he and many of their party believe that you can't be a real woman if you're conservative and you're female. I, again, I am greatly offended about that. What if the roles uh, were I do believe if my... I'm sorry, go ahead. Please, go ahead. What if the roles were reversed? What if this were a Republican saying this about a Democrat? How do you think the, the press would have taken that? Oh, I think the press would have been all over this this morning. They would not have let that go. I believe if, if my name had been John Ernst attached to my resume, Senator Harkin would not have said those things. Yeah. You know, uh, it seems like, Joni, uh, and we've heard it for the last couple of years, a number of Democrats, when referring to Republicans, they say there's a war on women. You find that deeply offending, and, if, offending, and I've heard you explain why. Would you explain to our audience? Yes. Yes, absolutely. The night of my primary election, I said that this is a phony war on women. First, I am a woman. And second, I have been to war. I am a combat veteran. This is not a war on women. And anytime Democrats are using the word war, they need to do it to honor our servicemen and women. Well, Jenny, it looks like you're doing something right because you were neck and neck with Braley. And now you're ahead in the polls. You have 51 percent and he has 44. And these, these polls were just released. What's your reaction to that? Yes. I am very excited about that. It just shows the momentum that we have here in Iowa. People are rejecting the failed policies of Congressman Braley and Barack Obama. They want a new direction for America, and taking back this seat is that new direction for America. We are going to do a 24-hour tour of Iowa just to continue with that momentum and get out the vote for tomorrow. Sure. According to the brand new Des Moines Register poll, which has you up by seven, I believe, at this point, and it is kind of the gold standard because they've been very accurate in the past. Uh, Mr. Braley is losing in every congressional district in the state, including his own. Now, one of the things the, the people who have been polled in the past, Joni, have said is his campaign, his campaign seems to be more negative, more negative ads than yours. Optimistically, if you are elected tomorrow to represent the state of Iowa, when you go to Washington, what do you want to do? There are a number of things that I would like to do. Of course, first is repeal but replace Obamacare with something that is very patient-centered, something that is affordable and actually does provide quality health care for Americans. I think we need to balance the budget, and I think we need to address our tax structure here in the United States. There are so many things that I would love to address, and I do hope the people of Iowa give me that opportunity. Do you have a prediction before we leave you today? <laughs> well, I, my prediction is that uh, Iowans will carry the day and, and I will be elected. That's my prediction. It is my great hope. And I want to go back to something you said. A campaign is directly reflective of the person at the top of their ticket. And that's why you see a negative campaign coming from the other side. And uh, on our side, we are a very positive campaign. I'm hopeful for the direction of America. Well, you're going to right. tour the whole state today. So yeah. uh, thank you very much for taking a little time out to join us. Jody Ertz today. Thank